so we brought 26,000 of these, and here you collect the whole blood. The Lithuanian National Blood Center bought blood containers from Poland to save the lives of Ukrainian soldiers. The money for blood collection equipment and medical clothing was collected by the whole country. Our support for Ukraine uh, started when uh, Putin started aggression. It was one and a half year before. Uh, we thought that we should uh, start to uh, bring uh, blood components to Ukraine, but contacted the Ministry of Health and uh, uh, Mr. Dmitro Koval, Director of Transplant uh, Coordination Bureau, assured us that there is no need to provide uh, blood uh, components to Ukraine because there are uh, enough donors here in the state. But the problem was, he told, that uh, you have lack of uh, blood collection systems, blood, blood bags. Uh, so we uh, uh, sent our first parcel in uh, the beginning of the war, and now when we are visiting in personally, it's our third third humanitarian aid mission in Ukraine. Equipment for transporting blood plasma is planned to be delivered from Lithuania to Ukraine in early November. The director of the Lithuanian National Blood Center assures that Europe is ready to help Ukraine until victory, despite the Kremlin's assurances. They want us to get tired from, from what they are doing, but uh, the main thing for us is not to get tired and for society not to get tired. You know, Putin thinks that uh, truth is in power, but in really, power is in truth. From the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine until July 2023, Kyiv received almost 13,000 tons of medical humanitarian aid worth $370 million from 35 countries, international and partner organizations, Ukrainian and foreign businesses. We have close cooperation with the European Commission, which learns about the needs of Ukraine in general, and then distributes these needs to different countries of the European Union. But of course, active assistance comes from the Baltic countries, as well as from the Polish Republic, from Hungary, the Czech Republic. The most active are those who share borders with Ukraine or the Russian Federation. Despite the ongoing war, Ukrainian doctors have everything they need to save the lives of wounded military personnel, the Transplant Coordination Center has said. As an institution that performs the functions of a national transfusion medicine center, we communicate almost daily with the command of the medical forces of the armed forces of Ukraine. And accordingly, the interaction between civilian medicine and military medicine is well established, and we are not aware of additional needs. The need for donated blood and its components has increased by at least 60% since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The donor UA organization has estimated that Transplant Coordination Center urges people to become blood donors. After all, one donor can save three lives. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV.